In this activity, you will learn about one of the driving modes of your robot. Using the switch controller, you will be able to steer the robot around some obstacles. Because the robot has got a small electronic brain, we are able to get it to work in different ways. These different ways are called modes. Some modes use the switch controller, while others get the robot to do things on its own. For example, the robot has a mode where it follows a black line. During the course of this project, you will use quite a few of these modes. Before you switch on, it is important that you slide the two switches on the switch controller to these positions. These are the off positions for this mode. As in activity 1, please make sure that the arrows on the pots are pointing towards the batteries by turning them like this. The mode that the robot is in will be shown on the small display. For example, there are three modes that use the switch controller. They will show up as J0, J1 or J2 whichever one you have selected. For this activity, we will be using mode J1. The four onboard switches are used to tell the robot which mode you want, and also they can allow you to change how the robot works. Each switch has a little light below it which flashes when the switch can be used. You will be given more information on these switches as you work through the different activities. For this activity, you need to use mode J1. To get there, do the following. On power on, robot will beep and should display the message robot. The light below switch A will flash and since it's the only flashing light, that is the only switch you can press, therefore press switch A. The display will change to an R and a flashing zero. R0 stands for General Robot Mode 0, which covers all the switch controller modes. Press switch A to accept this mode. The display will now show J with a flashing zero. A flashing display is the robot asking you whether you want this mode. We don't want mode J0, so press switch D to move on to the next mode. The display now shows a J with a flashing 1. We want to accept this mode, so press switch A. The display stops flashing and shows J1. So. The sequence was power on, press switch A twice, D once, then A once. Don't worry if you make a mistake, just switch off and start again. Notice that the switch controller has two switches and that each switch has three positions. Therefore in total there are nine possibilities of how to set the switches. Your first task is to work out what the effect is of each of these nine positions. Your team need to try out each of the nine positions and fill in the table with one of the symbols shown in this table. For example, this symbol represents a robot spinning quickly to the left. Now practice driving round odd shapes and tracks. Make sure that all members of your team can steer Robokid as everyone will take a turn during the competition which comes later. The batteries provide the energy for the robot, but as you know from your iPods and mobiles, batteries need to be recharged. RoboKid is no different. After using the robot for some time, 
you will have to recharge its batteries. When you power on, the little display will tell you if the batteries need to be recharged. Therefore, make sure you check each time you power on. If the display shows the word robot, then the batteries are OK and you can continue. If the display shows the word bat low, then you can continue to use the robot, but you should arrange to get the batteries charged for the next session. If the display shows the word recharge, then the robot will not work and the batteries must be recharged. To recharge, you need to remove the batteries. Using the kit screwdriver, carefully ease up the positive end of one of the batteries. The positive end has a little plus sign. Now repeat for the other three batteries.